Um, but I fuck with y'all, bro. I um, I hang around a lot of different people of ethnicities and backgrounds, and I'm from Oakland, California. When I moved from Oakland, I moved to this little place called uh, Cobb County. Um, <laughs> Cobb County, let me tell you, I've never seen so many white people before. <laughs> the most white people I've ever seen in my life at that point was on TV, and that was on Saved by the Bell. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, you learn stuff from people when you hang around, you know, when you never had before. So I learned something from hanging around white people immediately, and that's a bad word that I never knew. So growing up, you know, you can't say the B word, the A word, the F word, the D word. You can't even make sounds. <laughs> Like, if my mom was like, go clean your room, you can't even suck your teeth, be like, <laughs> that's considered a cuss word. But I was in school one day, and I had an incident with a bully. I didn't know he was a bully. I just thought he was a very angry white kid. But I was sitting in class one day, and he came up to me. Uh, I'm looking at him. He looked at me. He snatched my notebook off my desk, bucked at me, went and sat back down at his desk. I'm from the hood. Um, if we want to fight, that's just what we do. <laughs> So I wasn't familiar with what this was. <laughs> like, I've never been approached like this before, so I'm just like, looking around and everybody looking at me like, what you gonna do? <laughs> so I'm befuddled a little bit, so I stand up, walk back over, grab my notebook back, pop him with it. <laughs> and go sit back down. The teacher stands up like, what's going on here? What's all the commotion? And I'm looking around, I'm like, well, this nigga just took my notebook. <laughs> Whole classes. <gasps> I'm like, I know y'all saw him take it, right? <laughs> and he was like, I will not have you using that foul, bad language in this classroom. And I said, what bad language? And he goes, you just used a bad word. And I said, what bad word? He goes, the N word. Also, first time I've ever heard it expressed or phrased the N word. So I didn't know what he was talking about. So he was like, so tell me what happened and don't say the N word again. And I said, okay, this nigga took my papers. Uh, Mr. Lewis, I'm, I'm, I don't know why you're so offended by the word notebook, but um, this nigga clearly has an aggression problem and it needs to be addressed. <laughs> Then he asked, like, does your mother use that type of language at home? I said, religiously. <laughs> I said, I've heard my mom say nigga when she praying. <laughs> like, God, no, he, she, that's her spirit, bro. It's in all of them. Like, my mom was like, Lord, please give me patience, because if you give me strength, I will kill these niggas. Amen. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> um... I know they said, don't pull your phones out and shit, but you can do that for me. If you want to follow me, it is Hey Pierre. It is H-E-Y-P-I-E-R-E. -E -E. It's Pierre with one R. My mama can't spell. Uh, <laughs> I said that to her before. She went to one of my shows. She's like, I heard your little joke about me not being able to spell, nigga. <laughs> she said, I wanted to make your name unique. And I was like, can you spell unique? <laughs> She didn't think that was funny. I thought it was hilarious. Um, 